So nearby Nisha, today's video is about alcohol. But I'm not drinking, so I'm drinking protein water. That's a thing. This isn't sponsored. Although, it's not bad. <laughs> it's just protein what, water. It's, what, pro it's got a flavour? It's protein water and it looks a little bit white. That's what gets me. Because it makes you feel like your egg white water. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Prohibition was a strange time in American history where countless people were arrested for the crime of wanting to get blind piss drunk. Arrests that were made by a veritable army of Prohibition agents, the most successful of which was a five foot tall, unathletic piece of shit called Izzy Einstein. A man so good at sniffing out illegal hooch, he once made an arrest 30 seconds into a shift. So who is Izzy Einstein? Well, he was a man with no experience in law enforcement whatsoever, who became the most successful Prohibition agent during the time period. And if you don't know, um, Prohibition was a time in America where they just went, no booze. No booze. No more booze for you. This, illegal, none of that. No booze. No. And um, whilst Izzy Einstein um, did not really adhere to the idea of temperance, um, he did believe that the law should be followed and he wanted to become a Prohibition agent. The problem was, he did not look like a Prohibition agent. As I mentioned, he was five foot tall and he weighed about 200 pounds. And when Einstein initially went to interview to become a Prohibition agent, the guy interviewed him said the same thing. He's like, you don't look anything like an agent's son. To which Einstein sagely responded, and that's exactly why I'll catch everyone. No one's going to know a Prohibition agent because I don't look like one. And the interviewer was a little hesitant to believe this. So he gave Einstein a badge, a uniform, and told him to go to a nearby speakeasy where the guy in the front door had been able to spot every agent a mile off with Terminator-like precision. And Einstein, as he predicted, was able to walk through the front door in full uniform, at which point he walked up to the bar and said, how about giving me a pint of whiskey to celebrate my first day as a Prohibition agent whilst flashing his badge? And Nisha, would you like to guess what happened next? The guy gave him a drink. Yes. The barman laughed his ass off, said, that's a pretty realistic looking badge. Poured him a drink and said, where'd you get it from? At which point, Einstein responded, I'll show you, arrested the guy and took him back to his office. Oh my God. <laughs> he got an arrest on his first day. And that as well, it's such a badass line for a guy who looks like a melted candle shaped like a guy midway through shit in itself. Well, that is... Pretty funny. So, it is, yeah. uh, did he make any of the silly arrests? Uh, that became a hallmark of his career. And essentially, his entire career as a prohibition agent was him just making um, outlandish, brazen arrests in silly costumes. And there will no doubt be an incomplete list of all the various costumes he wore during his arrest below me. But some of my favourites include dressing up like a football player, complete with all the pads and the helmet, walking in, um, nuns, um, an old Jewish couple with his friends, and believe it or not, a black man. Um, an outfit that was apparently so convincing he was able to get served at a speakeasy in Harlem. What? What the hell? It was a different time, folks. It was a very, very different... Actually, no, it wasn't, because we're on YouTube, and I feel like every six months on YouTube, it's like, big YouTuber wore blackface, and like, that's not the person I am anymore. And you look at the date, it's like, what, six months ago? How much did you grow in six months? Did you undergo some of that, like, Taylor Lautner puberty? Yeah, it's so did you bad. know that, like, Taylor... What is it? Oh yeah, Shark Boy and Lava Girl is like two years apart from Twilight. <laughs> Something crazy. Is it really? <laughs> let's look that up. It can't Say, be. let's have a look. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Um, it was 2005. Oh yeah, and then Twilight was filmed in like 2008, 2009. So yeah. Holy fuck! Yeah, so let's look. So here's Taylor Lautner in um, uh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl, and then three years later he was in Twilight. <laughs> that kid went through a lot of fucking puberty, but like. Izzy Einstein was able to get undergo like similarly dramatic transformations and he would just completely commit to the bit that he had and the press fucking ate that shit up because why would you not want to follow a man dressed in like one of these outlandish costumes to make an arrest? He was so good at it. And wearing the costumes is one thing, but it's the props that he take with him. So like one time he's like, oh, I'm a concert violinist. And he took a violin in with him. So I think he could play the violin. And they'd ask, well, can you play the violin to prove you're a violinist? Yes, I can. I'm definitely not a prohibition agent. I will play this violin. <laughs> and then he arrested the guy. But my favorite story is about him making arrests and not when he was in costume, but out of it, because he very quickly became quite famous and quite well-known, quite infamous in the underworld. And there were many speakeasies across America who were terrified of encountering him and would have his picture on the wall telling them, do not serve this man. He might be in costume. Here are pictures of him in costume. He would walk into bars with his face on the wall, stand beneath the photo of his own face making the same pose. No one would recognize him. Then he'd walk up and arrest the person. Like, he was like 
I'm trying to think he might have like, had superpowers at this point. Yeah, like some sort of magician. <laughs> like he stood underneath a portrait of his own face saying, do not serve this man, asked for a pint and got served. And you might be tempted to say, folks, though, well, those photos, maybe they weren't that good of quality. But there was one thing that all of these bars knew about Einstein, and that's that he was Jewish. He was very, he very strictly adhered to the Jewish religion. So one thing bars would do, I shit you not, is make people take a bite out of a ham sandwich before they'd be let in. Knowing that Einstein, as a Jewish man, could not eat the ham, and Nisha, I'm gonna say something now that you are not gonna fucking believe, and that is that Einstein would get away with this by pretending to take a bite out of the sandwich and blowing the ham out. <laughs> so he learned to blow in such a way where the ham would fly out. What, and they wouldn't notice? Like, they wouldn't notice. <laughs> How? How'd How you, you get away with that? I don't know, but he did multiple times. What's the idea? Like, oh, it's a lovely ham. So, <laughs> and I want to say that happens in a TV show or a film, but I couldn't find a clip of it for the um, to make a gif for the original article. So can you guys think, like, I'm definitely recalling there being like a show or a film where someone just goes to take a bite out of something and just throws it in the bin. It feels like something I've seen. Just throws the man. <laughs> this is the gift that I use. I couldn't find someone throwing a sandwich away. I'm just thinking of Philip Schofield when he makes that really shit American style tea. Just throws just, it. In. <laughs> just throws it in his garden. And that's something Einstein would actually do because prohibition agents, by the nature of their job, were allowed to imbibe small amounts of alcohol so they wouldn't blow their cover, but they were required by their job to like, you know, save some of the alcohol to prove that it was alcohol when they made their arrest. So he would walk in with like these big like flasks hidden all over his body. And when people say, you've got to take a drink to prove that you're no know, prohibition agent, even though he was allowed to take a drink if he wanted to, he'd, he'd take the sip, keep it on and just spit it into his pocket. <laughs> so now I'm just imagining he did that in one go where he's had a ham sandwich and a shot and it's like, it's like tequila, where it's like you, what, you, you, the salt, the lime, the shot. But it's that, but it's a sandwich and a shot. And you're like, you've got to blow the ham, you've got to take the shot, you've got to spit the shot out, and you've got to bite the sandwich. <laughs> it's like, shot, boom. Oh my God, that's very fitting, yes. <laughs> just, the, just blowing the ham. Just that the way sounds he's written, really wrong when you say that. Blow the ham out of the sandwich and just flew. I don't know how he got away with it. I don't understand how you'd not see like the ham flying. <laughs> no one did. Why else is a photo of him behind? Do not trust this man. And now I think about it, if Einstein would have been around at a time with like cameras, he would have been fucking killing it on YouTube. Oh, oh yeah. I would watch this guy's YouTube series of like, how am I going to make an arrest today? What's my wildly racist costume going to be? And like a little GoPro on him when he takes it around and goes into yeah. clubs and bars and stuff. And then you have like the behind scenes like, here's how you blow the ham. He reveals his tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Tips and tricks for blowing ham. What's that great headline that made you lose your shit about the ass ham? What's that? Is it the whale nado? When that whale. There's a vice headline that puts oh. on. <laughs> there, was this... there was a whale that had diarrhea on a bunch of divers and it's like blue chunks of ass. Oh, oh I found it here. Yeah. It's just, it's just a vice headline that says a whale blasted an ungodly amount of ass ham all over some divers. I had poop in my eyes, wetsuit everywhere. I was soaked in it from head to toe. The poop nado was everywhere. And it, I never thought I'd hear something scarier than the Solnado from Mortal Kombat, but there it is. Anyway, uh, bring it back to Einstein. Um, like He was understandably quite confident in his ability to make an arrest and find illegal booze. And he had a long-standing boast to the press that within 30 minutes of setting foot in a new city, he could find booze. And he very frequently did just that. But one of his most famous and his quickest arrests was just 30 seconds. And you might be wondering, like, how? How do you make an arrest in 30 seconds? That is pretty fast. It's pretty fast, yeah. Keep in mind as well, And when he started his shift, he was surrounded by reporters and did so in full Prohibition agent uniform. Okay. Do you want to guess? Like, any ideas about how he arrested someone in 30 seconds? Because no, what you guess is not going to be as stupid as what he did. <laughs> I was just imagining him, he's arresting one of the reporters seeing he's surrounded by them. It's almost that stupid, like the, the Robocop press conference in like the reboot. Where there's just a, a guy in the audience who committed a crime and Robocop messing arrest. Like, That's what I'm thinking, yeah. It's just one of the reporters just like literally in front of him has like got some booze or he stinks of booze or something like that. He's like, wait a minute. No, nope, it's even stupider. It was um, after making this boast, stepping off the train in a new city, um, Izzy Einstein said, I'm going to start my shift now. I'm going to go find me some booze. Got into a cab 
Ask the driver, do you know a place where a guy can get a drink? Cab driver turns around, hands him a bottle oh, of whiskey. No. Handcuffs go on. <laughs> you couldn't make it up. 30 seconds into his shift. He didn't even get like, one foot off the train platform, just boom. <laughs> Why is this not a TV show? Of all people. <laughs> this needs to be a film. This needs like, if there has ever been a role written for Danny DeVito, it's this one. Yes. If there has ever been a role, that is a Danny DeVito fucking film right there. Make it. We'll have to make it ourselves. <laughs> we don't know anyone who's like five foot tall. No, we don't. We're all pretty tall, aren't we? We, we're, we, know, we know one person who's five foot tall. And like, I don't think they'd appreciate, do you want to play no, a 200 pound man? <laughs> so I remember that friend when they got really pissed off. I said, you know, you've got only five Subway sandwiches long. <laughs> they got really upset. Subway sandwiches. Because they're, they're, they're only five sandwiches long. So what do you do? <laughs> do, you, do you think if you handed Izzy Einstein a Subway sandwich with ham in it, he could play it like a harmonica? <laughs> Not the ham, but just... I can't even finish. Oh, I love this. I love this channel. I'm not even drunk and this episode is fucking amazing. Oh.